Okay. Let's get something not on the Game Boy Color. That would... I, I don't even care if it's good or not, just not on the Game Boy Color. Thank you! Oh god. Ice Age! Time for more movie tie-in garbage. So yeah, Ice Age. Actually a pretty fun movie in its own right. I do remember when this came out on Game Boy, and wow, that's loud. Um, yeah, one moment while I adjust this. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so yes, Ice Age. Pretty good movie. I do, in fact, remember when this first came out. Yeah, I was already into Game Boy Advance emulation basically since day one of it, which was practically day one of the Game Boy Advance itself. And I remember this being a really boring platformer, like super generic, no effort put into it sort of movie tie-in game, like so many of these are. Oh. <laughs> Unexpected. But oh my god, I'd forgotten this. Just... Yeah, wow. <laughs> That's a thing. <laughs> Just trying out all the move sets before the game tells me about them. I'm getting the feeling this is one of those ones where, uh, instead of being for an extra life, the collectible thing is... Oh. I health, apparently? I don't even... what? Uh, anyways, um, getting a strong feeling that it is more in the style of this stage has X number of acorns in it, and you get a rating for having collected them all. So yeah, um, we are firmly in the realm of super generic, no effort whatsoever, platformery nonsense. And apparently that kind of Megaceraps, or whatever it's actually called, is uh, very bouncy. And yeah, that is actually a very good point. Uh, somebody in the chat just pointed out that um, the big environment in the, game, uh, in the movie Ice Age was uh, ice and snow and tundra and, you know, stuff like that. I... It, it, oh. Why? Why is this a thing, game? Like, yeah, I get that the movie was kind of silly and goofy in a lot of parts, but seriously... So, you know... No, oh, and we have to go down here. Great. Thanks for that, game. Okay. Again, things that shouldn't be this difficult. Uh, 
Okay, giant turtle boss. Which can't really seem to hurt me unless I really screw up on the attack button there. Or, you know, if I totally miss and it manages to catch up and hurt me before I get back up here. So yeah, that's 46 out of 40. What? I, I, I got a golden acorn rating. We. I'm a bit confused by that, but, uh, sure, why not? So I kind of want to keep playing and see what the second boss is gonna be. See what random prehistoric animal they pull out of their asses and decide, Oh yeah, this is a, you know, a boss, a, a thing that a woolly mammoth would have to face. So enemies just turn into smoke and then reappear from that very same smoke a couple seconds later. Because, you know, there's no actual death in prehistoric times. Wait, what? What? I... Not even gonna question it anymore. Just going to try to get to this second boss as quickly as possible. Also, apparently, it's now rain age. Can I at least... Nope! A mammoth cannot squash bees. Full bulk of a mammoth, which is, uh... What is it, like, six tons or something like that? Three tons? Two tons? Somewhere in the range of many thousands of pounds. Nope. Cannot squish bees. So I totally remember all of the bees that were in the snowy territories of the movie. These bees are just absolutely well known for, you know, thriving in snowy regions. Oh, hey, cool, I got it right. They're roughly six tons. Nifty. Okay. Uh, nothing down there. Okay. Can I shoo the bees away with my trunk? Of course not, why would I? wondering for a second what that thing was. I was, uh, sort of going along at the same rate down there. Oh, 
didn't realize it was not that big of a hole. This game has this thing about not letting you see what's down below, and just sort of having you make lots of leaps of faith. Which is, of course, not a thing you want in your video game. Okay. Uh, please your sword. Soon, at least. Oh so, yeah, we got to see the second boss. So you know. Basically, all I'm going to do with this game because it's really freaking terrible. Yeah, it could be eels, could be a dinosaur. again for the golden acorn. Yeah, that is 40 again. Okay. Oh, and now there's a stage where we play as Sid. Oh, and it's a side-scroller. Er, uh, an auto-scroller. <laughs> Everybody loves an auto-scroller where you can't touch the left side of the screen at all. What? It, it, it. You touch a rock, and it damages you. So, you know. Yeah, we're, we're so far beyond done here. This is, um... This has been Ice Age, the tie-in movie. The, 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 yeah, the tie-in movie. Clearly, this has been a movie we've watching this whole... We've been watching. <sighs> can't even word anymore, um, wow. We're done here. Would not recommend this one. Would recommend the movie. It's rather fun. Don't know if I'd recommend any of the sequels, but the original is at least quite fun. <laughs>